Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today's Sekiro Shadows Die Twice video guide we're going to be showing you how you can trade skill points for attack power. Now that is right the only way you can normally get attack power is by killing bosses but there is actually this I wouldn't say secret way but this optional way to get attack power as well and it's actually quite well hidden. So to do this we are going to need the item Dancing Dragon Mask. Now this mask is actually divided into three pieces scattered around the game. Uh, they're not hard to get, but they can take a time. They can take a while to to get all three, since you will need to be end game uh, specifically for the last part. But anyway, the first one we are going to acquire is by trading in seven scales with the first pot noble, which you can find very easily at the start of Hidata Estate. Just trade in seven scales and it's yours. Now scales in this game, uh, you will actually need a total of 19 to get the full mask, but there's over 40 scales in the game. Uh, there's like more than 11 or there's like 10 or 11 just in Fountainhead alone with the fish you kill and the underwater items. There's like five in the first pond uh, at Hidata, it's, it's quite easy to get 19, it's, you don't even have to find half of them. Just go to big water places and you should find them. The second one, however, is not with scales, it's actually with gold and you can buy this one for 5,000 sen uh, near the entrance of the abandoned dungeon. This is obviously the most straightforward one to get, though it is quite expensive, but you know, if you're late game, 5,000 shouldn't be too hard to get and it is definitely, definitely worth it. So you get the middle part of the mask from this merchant. You can do this right at the start of the game if you really want and you've got 5,000. But obviously the final part that we're gonna be getting now, which you can only find by buying with more uh, scales, but this time from the other pot noble, which you can find by taking this route after resting at the temple ground or palace ground idol. Just turn around, hop on the roof of the building, jump onto this platform near the waterfall, and then there's actually going to be a hidden grapple point up on the mountain to your right. So just jump away from the mountain and then grapple up into the secret cave. And this is gonna take you to the location of the other pot noble. Now you are obviously gonna to have to spend 12 scales like we said before, so that makes a total of 19. Uh, so if you do the Great Colored Carp quest and the Great Colored Carp dies, this Pot Noble will actually die along with it. But don't worry if this Pot Noble does die, simply go to the other one and he should have all of this guy's stock. Uh, obviously the other guy is not going to have the stock at the start so you will have to get to this place either to buy it off of this guy or to do the Great Colored Carp quest. So yeah, once you've got that you can just simply rest the bonfire, trade skill points in for attack power. Uh, and yeah, I think the limit, I, like, I can't confirm this, but I believe the limit's 98 attack power, which is actually quite insane. So yeah, guys, hope this is helpful. If it was, please go like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys. If this guide was helpful, please consider joining as a member by using the join button or using the link in the description. This will support the channel, allowing me to get even more games to do even more video guides. Thanks for the support. Take care, guys.